This is where I'm going to die. Okay, Ryan, inquiring minds want to know. There's David and there's Kim. These are my flight attendant friends. Listen, I'm just a flight attendant. I'm, I'm running through the airport. Actually, not running. We're not allowed to run. All right, welcome home, Chile. Everybody, welcome to today's vlog. As you can see, it is 8.25 in the morning. I am still in Maryland and not really, wasn't really planning on still being in Maryland. So welcome to our channel. My name is Jill. This is It's the Don Elise. I am a brand spanking new flight attendant on my third trip, when, but I'm not really on a trip right now. My days that I was supposed to fly this week are Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and I'm on reserve, which means I'm on call. So I have to fly up here and be here on Wednesday so I can start to fly on Thursday early morning if need be. So I was all ready to fly on Thursday morning. I went to bed and I looked at the reserve list and, and you know, you're listed sort of by seniority, kind of. Um, so I looked and I was number 52 and I was like, okay, I probably am not going to fly on Thursday. At least I won't fly Thursday morning. So no, Thursday morning came and went. Nope. And I kept inching my way up, inching my way up. Finally, by the end of the day yesterday, which was Thursday, I was at number eight and flights had already, there were no more flights going out of Baltimore. So I knew I wasn't going to get, get, get called last night. So I thought, okay, well, perfect. I'll get called this morning, like early this morning. So I went to my friend's house yesterday for dinner and then I got home early, went to bed, all excited thinking I was gonna get a phone call this morning and fly this morning. Like a phone call at like 4 a.m. It didn't happen. So at 5 a.m. I looked at my number and I'm inching up and I'm inching up. Anyway, no call, no call. It's 8.30. I'm the first person on the list now. I'm the very next person they're going to call. So I'm just waiting. I'm going to get in the shower, be all ready. But I really want to fly. I don't come up here to not fly. And I don't, I didn't become a flight attendant to not fly. So stay tuned to find out if I go anywhere. All right, you guys, I just got out of the shower. Pardon me in my towel. But I just got the call. Yay, I'm going to fly. I'm going to fly. I'm so excited. So I got the call and I have a layover. I'm going to, it's just a two-day trip because that's all I'm eligible for now because I was here for a three-day trip. I did not fly yesterday. So now I have two days left on my eligibility. So I'm going to fly with a layover in Lubbock, Texas. I have never been to Lubbock, Texas. So I'm excited to go. And um, my report time is 12.20 at BWI. So I'll leave here a little bit. Of, I'll probably leave here at 11. 11 o'clock. So that gives me two hours. Look, it's nine o'clock right now. So it gives me two hours to get ready and head off to the airport and fly again. So excited. Come with me to Lubbock, Texas. You guys, you ever been there? Hi you guys, I'm on my way to BWI, the Baltimore airport to start my trip. And um, this is where I'm going today. I'm leaving Baltimore and flying to Charlotte, North Carolina, then to St. Louis, then to Austin, then to Lubbock. I think. And then tomorrow I go from Lubbock to Austin back to Baltimore. I think that's what my what my flight is. Um, I've never, like I mentioned earlier, I've never been to Lubbock, Texas before, so I'm excited. Mike did some research. Apparently there is a windmill museum and the Buddy Holly Museum. So I don't know if they're close to where, we're, where I'm going to be, but I am bound to determine to see as much as I can. <laughs> Okay, so we came out for a little bit of nighttime golf. Uh, we're on hole eight right now. The sun's about to set, and um, I the weather was great today, so I wanted to come out. And then Callie finished athletic training, and she came out with me. And yeah, the people in front of us are playing pretty slow. Do you want to film this shot? Yeah. All right, sorry. I got pressure. Tell me what you think about this hole. Uh, great hole. It's an Arnold Palmer design course. This one's called Arnie's Island, so it's a nice little par three. Island Green. Um, we got 138 here, so just a, a soft pitching wedge. We'll see what we can do. And we have the pink ball. Could you imagine if I get a hole in one? Okay. This that would be, be amazing. amazing. Practice. Excuse the pink ball, by the way. I don't have an explanation for it. But <laughs> it's just good for that. Breast cancer awareness month. Oh, 
Oh. Nice turn of the game. We'll see if we can make that for Brady. Was it good? It was awesome. <laughs> okay, I have a story. So one time I was mini putt putting, like at those little places where like they have like the alligators in the middle. But I didn't fall into that. But I was putt putting and I fell into the lake because I was reaching for my ball. I was like six. I fell head first into the into the pond. Okay, sorry. Just wanted to tell you that. Yo, huge gator. <laughs> I don't like gators. <laughs> okay, so this is gonna be the birdie putt. Uh, this whole green slopes back to front. So close. Yay! <laughs> yeah, now we're going to hole nine. nine. How many holes are we doing? Just so we're on our last hole. And Ryan. And Ryan's a very reckless driver. He just turns very fast. That was really good. Amazing. I'm driving. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Ryan, inquiring minds want to know when do the Chargers play next? Sunday. Sunday night for some players. Sunday night. Be there or be square. No. How you guys? So I didn't get a chance to film on the plane. It is so busy when we're flying. Like, there's no time for me to take out my phone and film. And I wish I could film on there because I know you guys want to see my flight attendant stuff on the plane, but last I saw you, I was eating my Subway sandwich <laughs> in uh, in Baltimore and then literally like whisked onto the plane and we flew, 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 and now we're at the hotel and I am tired. It is uh, 9.35 here, but 10.35 my time. I'm exhausted. I feel like I'm getting a cold and I'm so hungry and the um, restaurant closes in like 15 minutes. So I'm gonna run down and try to grab some food because um, I'm starving. We had a great flight, I have such a great crew. Oh my gosh, if I could fly with this crew all the time, I would love it. Um, but we had so many great crews. It's so nice working for Southwest is just so amazing. So anywho, um, we're gonna fly together tomorrow and then that's it today. I met um, two people, I met Ava and another guy, I don't remember his name, and we got pictures together. So um, if you guys are watching, hey, thanks so much for saying hi. Oops, sorry about that, you guys. Katie's calling me, gotta talk to her. Talk to you guys soon, bye. All right, you guys, I just keep getting sicker the later I get, so I'm going to bed. I just had um, dinner with my friend, Kim. She's my flight attendant friend. Also, my other friend, Damon, who's also flight attendant with me, gave me some NyQuil, which is so kind. I even, I travel with my like bag of medicine of all kinds of things, just in case things happen. I had DayQuil in there, but no NyQuil. Oh, and I get to go home tomorrow, back to Baltimore. And um, I don't know, maybe I'll get a chance to film a little bit. We'll see. I, I'm, I can't film when there's passengers on the plane, but maybe when we first get on. Because now, it's kind of funny actually, now my flight attendant friends know that I'm on YouTube. I don't ever tell anybody. Like it's like, listen, if you know, you know, if you don't, I'm not like, listen, I'm just a flight attendant. I'm not anything else. So, um, but today they found out that that was not the case, that I was also on YouTube. So, um, now that they know, then they were like, oh, we'll be in your vlog. So not tonight, but maybe tomorrow we'll be able to vlog them on the plane when we get in. So it won't be uncomfortable because sometimes it's uncomfortable for me to film because of, like people are like, I don't want other flight attendants to be like, what are you doing? And I have to explain and, you know. So not that I'm not proud of what I do because I'm totally proud of what I do, but it's just um, hard for some people to understand and to fathom. But anyway, now that they know, then we will be in my video tomorrow. So stay tuned. Good morning, everybody. It is um, Friday morning. Sat nope, Saturday morning, and I'm still in Lubbock, Texas. I'm getting ready to have breakfast. I'm at the table, and I just ordered an amazing omelet. I'm very excited about it, and a little bit of decaf coffee. Um, my coworkers, my other flight attendants, decided that they did not want to come to breakfast this morning. I think they brought their own food, which I will learn to do. I just haven't done that yet. But um, I was, I had all these like ambitions of waking up and going to the Buddy Holly Museum. He is a 
a legendary American singer and he was born in Lubbock, Texas and there's all kinds of um, homages to him here, the Buddy Holly Center, the Buddy Holly Hall. I was gonna get up and do that because you know, um, during my travels I wanna go to all these really cool places and meet all these, like, and, and see all these things. But I'm feeling a little bit under the weather, first of all, and second of all, I wanted to get my video up for you guys today about Ryan's speech at Young Life. If you haven't seen that video yet, please take a look at it. It is incredibly wonderful. Um, and not because of me, but because of Ryan. <laughs> it's not like it's my video is that great. It's about Ryan and the content. I'm hoping on my next visit to Lubbock, I will feel a little bit better and I won't have as much work to do so I can go to the museum and share that with you guys because it's my intent to um, share with you my travels as a flight attendant, not just me in the sky or me getting ready to go to all these places, but actually being in these places and showing you what is there. My omelet took a little bit too long to make, so I had to get it in a to-go container. So I brought it back to my room, scarfed it down really fast. I have some left over that I'm gonna bring with me on the plane, just in case you guys, it was so good. It was an omelet with all the vegetables and, um, and some potatoes, some fried potatoes on the side, which were phenomenal. I normally don't like fried potatoes, like on the side for breakfast hash or whatever. These were excellent. So our flight is at one, I think it was just delayed. It's at 150 now. It was supposed to be at 145 or 135. But anyway, so we'll get there in plenty of time to get on the plane and head back to, I think Austin. Do we go to Austin and then BWI? Yeah. All right, so I'm not sure how much I'll be able to film um, of that, but hopefully you guys get to see something. If not, then you'll see me at BWI. You guys have a great day. Looking forward to these flights today. Bye. David and there's Kim. These are my flight attendant friends. My cohort. They're a, a cohort. I tell you guys what's going on. Absolutely amazing. And Damon went to a really cool place in Lubbock called Spanky. Is that right? Spanky. Yeah. So now um, apparently they're really well known for their fried cheese. So I'm pretty jazzed about it. Can you like fried cheese? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who does giant, it? Big giant oh. Okay. Oh yeah. Right. Okay. My choice fries. You guys. See. Okay, is that the biggest? They look like egg rolls for Pete's sake. It's like the huge. biggest fried cheese you've ever I'm seen in your scared. whole life. <laughs> All right, we should taste it though. Ready? All right, wait, we should go get a fork. Okay, let's get a fork. Later. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's it's an airport. That's a good point. All right, so have some forks and we'll taste it. I am assuming this is ranch and assuming that's ketchup or tartar sauce or, or like a marinara. Yeah, it, actually, you're probably right. It probably is marinara. That would make more sense. Okay. One's ranch, one's if you need a knife, I just, I didn't even buy it off of this one. <laughs> I think we're, I think we're good. Well, I don't know, maybe I do, I don't know. Okay, hold on. All right, ready, here it's we go. It's probably cold now, because when I got them, go ahead. Hot, it was like, sweet. I'm gonna get one. Two, I know, Kim, you have to go one, two, three. Oh, man. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. Did you try it? Damon, you had one already, right? I ate three of them. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I love it. Do you like it? Mm-hmm. It's, it's really so, good. It is. It, I like. I'm not sure eating three of those is gonna be healthy for us. Probably not. But it's probably so not. Good. I'll let you know tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Did you eat three already? Yes, three. Well, I had two at the restaurant. And I just ate my other one. Oh, it's really good though. It is. We have to at least finish that. Maybe not just the whole thing. Just the whole thing. Because right. we can do those two. <laughs> All right. Here we go. We're gonna eat more. you guys I just got off the flight and I was gonna have to wait until tomorrow to fly home but as it turns out there's a flight tonight that I have like eight minutes to get from my flight I just left to the new flight and they're holding the door for me so I'm hoping I can make it there and fly home hi so um, I texted Mike and he said he can come pick me up so I'm running through the airport actually not running we're not allowed to run I'm walking really fast to the airport and hopefully I'm gonna make it I'll let you know I tried. I didn't get there. I was two minutes late. It's already gone. So that's okay. I'm gonna spend the night at my house tonight and then head back to early, early tomorrow morning. It was worth a try though. And I have to say, 
my A flight attendant uh, made that happen, was trying to make it happen, or trying to make it happen for me, which was really very sweet. I flew with the best crew. So <clears throat> I'm feeling pretty okay. I'm gonna go home, get a good night's sleep, and then be back here bright and early in the morning to fly back home. Good morning, guys. It's five o'clock in the morning. I'm headed back to the airport. I'm so sorry, I can't even talk. Looking forward to getting home and maybe some of the salt water in the ocean will help me heal, because it always does. Salt water heals everything, says my mom, which is true. All right, I'll see you guys there. As much air travel as I do now, I don't think I'll ever get sick of it. I just think it's the most amazing thing that this huge airplane with all these people can go up so high in the sky and take you there so quickly. And the beauty of God's earth from 10,000, 20,000, 30,000 feet up in the sky is something to behold. Um, I know that Mike feels the same way. He is always intrigued by air travel. All right, here she comes. That's a big old Boeing 737 about to land on us. Listen to this. Sometimes I think Mike thinks it's cooler that I'm a flight attendant than I do. His support has been paramount through this whole process. Love that man. Look who came to pick me up. How are you, baby doll? Welcome back. Thank you. Nice to see you. Here. 